Hi guys, can you see me through? I got some plant chores. I have to put another moss pole and I have to put this up. And I also have to repot the last four plants that I got from Ecuador. So that's what today's planty chore and potting up is going to be. So come along, get a beverage, get a snack. Let's just hang out a little bit while I'm redoing some plant chores. See you soon. Okay. You get these moss poles, they come in a box and you get them on Amazon. You just type in moss poles into the search. fits down into here and then I use the velcro plant tape one side's fuzzy one side's sticky let me grab some scissors almost to the top of this moss pole, so I'm going to have to propagate it pretty soon. Let me see if I can show you the top of it. Can you see that? So it's almost, it's basically to the top of this second pole. So I'm going to have to start propagating and making babies. Okay, that one's done. So let's get this one out of here. Ugh. Guess I can't move it yet, I forgot a limb. So, I missed that limb with the plant. Okay, we're gonna take this one back and put it where it was. I'll be right back. This is a philodendron varicosum red. Remember that leaf I told you was a odd color? It's yellowing. It's still yellowing. So we're gonna clean off the sphagnum moss check the roots out see what they're looking like if you hear scratching on a door it's my dogs and I don't want them in my witchy room especially when I'm videoing so you might hear scratching in the background that's what that is
although if you can see what I'm doing. Let's see if that helps so that you guys can get a clear view. Let's see if I can zoom in for you too. So tell me what you guys are doing for the autumn equinox this year. Are you guys doing anything different than you've done last year? Leave a comment down below. It helps to inspire and give ideas to other witchies. Let me know in the comments what you guys are doing this year to celebrate the autumn equinox. Are you guys ready for autumn? We've had pretty hot temperatures this summer, like in the 90s, close to 100 here in Iowa where I live in the Midwest so I'm kind of really excited for fall this year I have to admit and that's not like me because I'm very much a spring summer child I love to go barefoot wear summer dresses things of that nature but it has been so hot so muggy and just so uncomfortable this year during the summer and we haven't had that much rain either I didn't grow an outside veggie garden this year. It's the first time I haven't done it. But that's because I have my own business and my time is really limited now. Hence is why I went a couple months without posting. When you're trying to start up your own business and get it going, you spend so much time on it to try to get it off the ground that it just doesn't leave time for anything else. But now that I've kind of got things sorted out in my business, I'm hoping to do more videos. And as you can tell, my channel's kind of evolving around plant life and I'm just letting it happen. I've gained several new subscribers, so I'm hoping that you guys enjoy that and being connected to nature and plants, whether they're tropical plants or outdoor plants. It's all relevant. It's all relevant to the witchy community. Okay, there's not a whole lot. I mean, there's some roots, obviously, but there's not like tons. And this one I think I'm gonna chop because I can see it browning. So I'm gonna cut it because you want white roots. You don't want anything that resembles brown or rot. And right here, do you see where it kind of turns a brown from the white? I'm gonna chop that because I don't want root rot. And checking the rest, looks good. We're just gonna put this in one of these orchid pods because there's not that much root system compared to the other ones okay you want a chunky mix for tropicals they, they, it has to be extremely well draining otherwise they'll get root rot so that's why I use the chunk cocoa core not the fibery kind I use the chunk and I use pumice and perlite worm castings because that's a fertilizer it's really good for plants Set that one here. 
next one. Oh, let me put my sphagnum moss in my sphagnum moss container over there because I reuse this. I wash it, run it through water until the water's clear. Put my name tag back in there. Sphagnum moss is expensive. And you can use it to do propagation. Okay. Next one. Let's do the Anthurium Queen. This is the smaller queen that I purchased in case my larger medium size died in shipping. So... We're going to use, I believe, this size. Let's get this all cleared out. Let's see how the roots are looking. We don't want black roots, that's for sure. Okay, I'm going to cut that. Can you see here where it's black? Do you see that? And that, I'm checking to see if, no, that's a little bit of root rot, so I wanna cut that till it's white. Spanking the pot in order to get soil to move down around any air pockets. We've got that one done. We'll set that there. All right. Oh, did I put the name tag back in there? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Anthurium Queen. Okay, this one is Anthurium Magnificum Radiante. See how this is. Oh, these roots look good. Likey, likey. So far, let's get this cleaned up a little bit and see if the rest of the roots are looking good, and I'll show you guys. You can hear my dog scratching on the door. They don't like not being with me. But I've got too many things open for them to get into, and I just can't have them in here. Can you see the white fat roots? Those are good roots. 
That one didn't have, the one that we just finished, the Anatherm Queen, that was a small, that didn't have that great of roots. I mean, they weren't shit, but there just wasn't a lot of them. So what have you guys been doing this summer? Anything fun? I haven't done anything other than work. Work, clean house, take care of my five chihuahuas, order some plants finally that I've been wanting for such a long time. But that was a little bit tight, I think. I want it to have room to grow a little bit. I think that's better. They're good. See? Looks good. Okay, last one. Let me get the sphagnum moss into my sphagnus moss tub. Crystallinium black. Same thing goes for this, and this is what this looks like. Okay. These roots look good. Green, white. And this is the one that's got the leaf that hasn't, it's unfurling, but it hasn't yet. Can you see it right here? Let's see if I can turn it. There you go. So, get the moss picked up. Lay this baby down.
That one's done. Where's my name tag? There we go. Another one done. Aren't these beautiful? I just love these. Okay. Well, that concludes this video. We've got everything potted up now that I got from Ecuador. So now it's just a matter of seeing how they do, keeping them well watered. And I'll give you updates, of course, on the progression of how they're doing or how they're not doing well. So until next time, I need to pot up that sensitive plant. I got these little pods and the little saucers that go with it at Amazon. So, let's see, where's my little scoopy? These are really, really fine roots. Can you see how tiny they are? Real fine. Let's see if I can. Can you see them? They're super fine. This leaf I think I'm going to end up losing because it's still yellowing. See that one that's yellowing? Right here. Whoops, right there. And we'll put it on its little saucer. Isn't that cute? Thank you to all the subscribers. It means the world to me. Um, I just want to tell you thank you. And please share and help grow this channel. We're still under a thousand subscribers. I would like to reach at least a thousand. That's my goal. So if you could help me in any way, shape, or form, I would be most, most grateful to you. And I hope you have a blessed day. Bye, everybody.